needed to touch something other than the motherless heartache that sucked at the pores of her skin. She left me bruises the size of rodeo horses and smiled at me with yellow teeth heavy with the hurt of two-toned brick. She was always trying to tell me how her relationship with scissors justified snipping away at inherited veins, spent nights listening to her count off the ways that she wanted to shatter things, and if that is how you make love, then make love out of the thing you were born to create rather than out of static fistfights of no glory. On Sasha's 21st birthday, we sat on the wet slope of the park. This is where I gave her a compass to wear around her neck. Before then, I would watch her stumble over which part of her heart to follow, limping like a broken down foghorn that had forfeited its howl that used to echo across the ocean, now onto cocaine and bathrooms tagged with curses, girls dressed in nothing but eyelashes and liquor, a lost heart and two empty palms. She shows me the compass two years later, still hanging by her throat, its rusted magnets stagnant in rotation, never actually telling her which way is up, but somehow still kept her feet on the ground. And if that is how you make love, then make love out of the, the ability to uproot and find a course so beautiful you could never be swallowed, no matter how many ghosts sprout out of the woodwork. The night I fell full chest beat forward, I stood by Jen's side, feeling electricity flooding out her skin. It left me to sway like a drunk kid Catholic, gave her a book called She, and spit typewriter ink off of my own tongue. And she, dressed like a boy, grown out of light, taught me how to love like the Grand Canyon, opening its twisted clay shorelines to the ache of the sky. We romance like a tent full of midnight whispers and mason jars full of fire. A Fourth of July kiss that ruptured into landslide explosion, and if that is how you make love, then make love out of the roots that tie your body to another. Make love out of the wood blocks carved by fire torch and feel the engraving with your hands. And I called you here because I wanted to tell you how I used to sit on the sand carpet inside of my closet and write on the crown molding about how I didn't know how to make love. Somehow knowing that words inked onto white wood always have the way of working themselves out. And if that is how you make love, then make love out of the stories that were once broken and became whole again. Make love out of crying when you finally saw the view. Make love out of realizing that you want to wake up, not as a crumbled bell tower, but as a symphony with a violin string smile. Yeah. yeah.